This video will contain spoilers, so please continue at your own pace. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out my video on how to unlock the different endings in Phantom Liberty. Phantom Liberty's story can conclude in four different ways, and of those four endings, to unlock a new ending for the base game, which is known as the Tower Ending. To simplify the steps on unlocking the endings, play the DLC like normal until you get to the mission called Firestarter. Your choices up to this point don't affect the ending, so feel free to choose whatever suits you. Once you get to Firestarter, Make a safety save shortly before reaching the splitting choice, which is the section where you specifically interact with Somi and the machine. This way, you can load the save once you complete a path, and get into the other side faster instead of restarting the DLC again. To reduce spoilers, I'm going to call the top choice option A and the bottom choice option B. Option A will allow you to unlock the King of Wands and the King of Swords trophies and endings. King of Swords will also allow you to play the new ending and unlock the tower achievement. Continue the path of option A until you get to the monorail section. From here, make a second safety save if possible. But if you can't, it's okay as the game should be making autosaves for you. To get the King of Wands ending, you need to send Somi to the moon, which requires you to take out Reed during the standoff. Once you get this, load the manual or autosave, and instead of taking out Reed, give Somi up to unlock the King of Swords. Once you see both endings, reload your Firestarter safety save to go and see option B instead. In choosing option B, you'll instead unlock the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles trophies and endings. King of Pentacles allows you to unlock the tower ending as well. Continue this path until you reach the Sinoshore tank. Before entering it, try to make a safety save to reload after seeing an ending, as opening the tank door will not allow you to save. To unlock the King of Cups ending, unplug Somi when she asks you to do it. To unlock the Pentacles ending, refuse to unplug her twice. Once you finish the four DLC endings, reload one of the two files, King of Pentacles or King of Swords, to have access to the tower ending in the base game. From here, all you need to do is wait until the game tells you to call Reed. This will lock you into the tower ending as it doesn't require you to play out the Arasaka Tower Raid. If you found this video helpful, then consider giving it a like as it really helps on my channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.